Today's Friday, and it's a very good day for me. I wanted to share it with everybody. This is Bella. She's eight weeks old, and she's my latest addition. Well, almost my latest addition. I got her last week, picked her up from the shelter, and I do believe she's a pit bull, something that I thought I would never, ever get. But my daughter wanted a puppy, and of course, being the good daddy that I am, I had to oblige and pick the puppy up. And my daughter was so excited when she seen this puppy, she started to cry. And it was so heart-wrenching, this little girl crying because she was happy. She kept saying how happy she was, how happy she was. It were tears of joy. It was amazing. It was a beautiful moment. But I'm going to try to train this animal to be a good dog and not some kind of vicious, crazy animal like everybody makes them out to be, the dreaded pit bulls. I had two Rottweilers, and they always say the Rottweilers are bad dogs and nobody should have a Rottweiler and they're killing people and ripping people's heads off. Well, I'll tell you, I had two Rottweilers and both of them were sweethearts. Absolutely beautiful animals. So I'm hoping the pit bull will be the same. Something I want to show you today is this right here. This is a Bolkovic Canted Poker. It was on his website, on his page, the website page. I happened to uh, send him a, a note and I asked him to be put on the list and I never heard a response from him. And he went ahead and sent me a note and told me to look on the website that he had a couple pipes on his website. Well, I went ahead and I went to the website and I seen this one and I was, of course, had to have it. And I went ahead and I got it and paid for it and he sent me a note back telling me that I was his first customer, I guess, on the website and that he was going to go ahead and place a number one on the pipe. And there it is right there, Bolkovic, number one, 2011. Very cool. I'm very excited. I love this pipe. This pipe is awesome. It's a great little size. I mean, it's not too big. It's not too small. It's just beautiful. And I've got some McClellan here, Blackwoods Flake. It's about five years old, or I should say six years almost. And I'm going to go ahead and indulge myself into this and just sharing the maiden smoke with everybody. Hope everybody's having a great week. And so when you have someone like that, the question becomes, can they ever really be a Thing, any pipes or anything since Sunday. I've been kind of holding out waiting for this one. So this is kind of a treat here tonight. It's going to turn on. I'm trying something different here. I've been watching a lot of videos. It's kind of difficult sometimes to respond to all the videos, but I try to get to all the guys' videos one at a time, make a comment. Also, everybody that comments on my videos, I try to respond back to them. I went ahead and watched uh, T. Rose video yesterday. I was surprised too because I didn't get notified that he had a new video up, but 
I had happened to click on his channel and seen that he had posted a couple videos. And he did a pretty good shot in the arm for Mark Balkovic Pipes over there. And I'm going to do the same. I told Mark that I would go ahead and plug him and do a video for him. My impression of this pipe upon a first smoke is that it's got a real easy draw. The bit feels incredible. I mean, it was like almost like you can't hardly even tell you've got a pipe in your mouth. The pipe is incredibly light. I love the way that he, uh, I don't know if this is a sandblast or a rustication, I'm not sure, but I don't know if you can see it or not. He does awesome work on these stems. This is a brass ring inlay that he's got on here. So, Mark, I'm very happy with this. I appreciate you getting back to me and telling me you had this pipe online, that I was fortunate enough to be your first customer online. And as I told you, I'll never get rid of this pipe because it links me to bulk of the pipes forever, like you said. And that makes me very proud, and I'm proud to be able to say that I'm linked to bulk of the pipes. I wish that I could watch everybody's video and comment on everybody's video after I watch them. But I can't watch every single one of them immediately as soon as they get posted. So I happen to watch uh, Green Fairy Pipe talking about Jay and one of the questions that he spoke about was what was one of your most embarrassing moments. And although this isn't what I'm going to tell you, the story isn't exactly a moment. It was more like probably close to three years worth of embarrassment. I went to a Catholic grade school. We didn't have any gymnasium our extent of physical activity was going out to a playground with a plastic ball and bat. They called it a wiffle ball and bat. And we'd whack the bat around, you know, and play baseball and had a couple bases set up and that was the extent of our gym class. Upon going into high school, I entered a gigantic public high school. The thing was huge. So it was pretty much culture shock for me being this new kid in this gigantic public high school after going to a, a very small Catholic or parochial school as they call it. Well, sorry about that. I'm holding this camera up with my hand and I just pushed a button and I wasn't sure if I shut it off or not. But anyways, we ended up going to this large public high school. And in gym class, they rotated different sports. You'd get a few weeks in gym or uh, in gymnastics or in weightlifting or in track or in swimming or in basketball. Well, this particular school, their swimming se session was done in the nude. Now, Keep in mind, I don't know how old you are when you go into your first year of high school, something like maybe, I don't know, 12, 13, whatever it is. Now here you are in a class full of your peers, buck naked. And that was how swim class was conducted in this particular school. All the boys swam in the nude, 
The girls were not required to swim in the nude, although they were separated. The girls had a different gym class, and the door to the pool was locked on their side of the pool, so they couldn't enter into there, but the boys were required to swim nude. And I'll tell you what, this was freaky. You got all these kids getting out of the pool, forced to line up along the side of the pool and jump off the diving boards, do various things in the water. And I'm not telling, I'm not saying this was one particular PE teacher that did this. This was the whole school. And it was known, anybody that went to this school, anybody, regardless of whether you were the first, second, third year in this high school, it was known, and it didn't necessarily be, have to be those four years. It could have been eight years before or eight years after. That's how they did it. And I don't know, I think it left a mark. I mean, maybe that's why I was so rebellious my whole life, because it was just, it was sick. And it was very embarrassing for, say, you know, like I said, a 12-year, 13-year-old kid who came from a small parochial school to go to this gigantic high school to be scared it is, as it is. You know, everybody is boys, you know, you develop at different rates, some are faster than others, and required to stand there naked in front of all your peers. It was pretty gross and embarrassing. So I have to say, that has to probably have been the most embarrassing point of my life. And um, I just thought I'd share that with you. And sorry, Mark, that, that little rant comes with your new pipe opening and, and sharing. So... That's about all I got for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and finish this bowl and enjoy it. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon. God bless until next time we meet.